This is Mr. Smith, and let's say that you've got a problem. Let's say that you recorded video on your iPhone, and it's an MOV file, but the editor that you want to use to edit this video doesn't edit MOV files, doesn't know what to do with them. Or let's say that you recorded video, but what you want to do is edit the audio from that video in something like Audacity, and you can't import that particular video file into Audacity. Well. I do have a solution for you, and that solution is VLC Media Player. You can get it from videoland.org slash VLC. It is a free download, as are all of my software recommendations right now. And this particular program, I really started using it because I wanted to play media, not because I wanted to convert anything. It will play anything I throw at it. It'll play any type of video file I've had, any type of audio file, it'll play DVDs. It just works. It's glorious in that regard. But one of the hidden features it's got is converting files. So if I have VLC Media Player open, and I click on Media, I can go down to Convert slash Save. Now, there's a few steps for this, but it's worth it. First, you have to add the file. So I click Add, and I go to find the file that I want to add. Now in this particular case, I have a lot of the videos that I've been recording for these tutorials. And there's one here that I already have selected. It's an MKV file. You'll notice all the others are MP4. Well, MKV is a relatively newer format. It's not supported by as many things. So chances are that's a file that I'm not going to be able to use in most editors. On this computer I actually can, but this is a hypothetical situation. The lab computers, it doesn't work as well. So I'm going to click Open, and now I need to tell it that I want to convert this file. So I click down here and pick Convert. Okay, next step. I've told it what I want it to convert, but I need to tell it what I want to do with that file. Yes, I want to convert it. I need to pick a profile, and there's a bunch to start off with. Maybe I want it to be an MP3 file. You know what? I'm going to pick that as an example. I could pick one of the video files that are here. If you are trying to edit it in a video editor and it's just not working, I would recommend picking MP4. That seems to be a relatively universal format for editing video. But I'm going to go with MP3. And now I need to give it a destination. So I'm going to click Browse. And whatever you do, don't name the file the same thing. Please don't name the file the same thing. You'll notice it says Container is going to be an MP3. So I should probably have that be my suffix. I'm going to write Converted 321. 2020. I usually recommend putting the date or something specific in there to help you not to get confused between one file and another. Dot .mp3. I'm going to click Save. And when we press Start, one of two things is going to happen. Either it's going to immediately start converting the file, which will be awesome, or it's going to wait for us to press the Play button, in which case it'll start converting the file at that point. So let's hit Start. And you may have missed it because it went by so fast, but it did have the progress bar go across. It's a very small file, and this is a pretty powerful computer, so it went very quickly. Your mileage may vary, but now if I go and look in my folder here, I have converted yada yada dot mp3. So double clicking on this, that is just the audio from it. And I didn't really have a lot of stuff in there. It was really just background noise. So that's just for an example. This is a short tutorial, but hopefully this will be very useful for you if you need it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask.